guys. Hope your riding season has been good this, this far. Uh, mine has. I've had no major issues with batteries or anything. Uh, I literally just got back from a ride. The pack's still warm. <laughs> uh, I've been putting off this motor long enough. Uh, okay, so the big plan is since this, the back wheel on my e-bike right now is just a 36 volt hub motor on a 500 watt uh, controller. Nothing too special about it. And I can't overvolt it because it's a 36 volt motor and it just smells and smokes and everything else. Cheap Walmart. Anyway, uh, what I want to do is for the back of the bike, I want it to be chain drive. And the front, I want it to be a hub motor, but I want them to work together. Or have a switch you can go from either, either one, basically. Yes, I know it'll be loud, but uh, I love chain drive. Uh, one of the first e-bikes that I ever had was a Schwinn, uh, was a Schwinn iZip back in uh, early 2001, and uh, the thing was amazing. <laughs> when you over-volt it, I had it, uh, well, let's see, uh, the, the, the regular voltage on the Schwinn iZip was 24 volts. I had it over 36 volts, and that thing flew, and uh, that was chain drive, and yes, it was loud. But anyway, I got this. I got a decent deal on it. I think I paid 100 and 170 shipped, which isn't too bad. Uh, what do we get in here? A bunch of tools. Wow, it's got a. It actually has a. Um, let me uh, put this on a chest cam. That's better. Free up my hands. Uh, it comes with this. Which, uh, actually, these are hard to find. That's sweet. And it uh, does come with all the screws. But, uh, I, actually, I could use one of these on my bike now. It's falling apart, so... I'll probably end up using this on the e-bike now. I had no idea that it was even in there. But these are worth their weight in gold. Unless you want to search for them. And there's a bunch of other bolts and screws that I'll probably never use in there. We got a controller. Doesn't look that bad. 48 volt, 2000 watt, 34 amp. Uh, brake low level. Hmm. I've seen worse. Sealed up pretty good in there. Don't like that. There should be uh, red washers in there to keep the water from getting in, or at least put a little bit of silicone on there. If you were to put that on the bike like that and water would pool in there, it would drip into the controller. Uh, there has to be some type of seal on those, whether it be silicone or the um, oh, some type of uh, synthetic washer. Nothing too special about this controller, though. I mean, you got your phase wires. your hall wires. Um, yeah, pretty basic. I think that's your, three, that's your either that's your uh, throttle or your three-speed switch, but I don't see another one like that, so I'm going to guess that's the throttle. And uh, yeah, there's nothing else here. Oh, there's this one here. Yeah. It's all in Chinese, so I'll have to figure that out. And the motor. As, I, as you know, this thing is way better than bigger than uh, it, 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 you make out on the uh, on the internet. This thing is massive. Um, yeah, I mean, if I do use it on the bike, which I am going to be doing, it's a long bike, so I could basically make a weld the plate in and uh, just bolt it right in and. Uh, set it up with the rear wheel. What I want to do is I want to put a, a cluster or a gear on the back of the wheel that's not part of the main cluster. That way I can still pedal and it'd be free from this. And we'll see how it works out. But uh, If I overvolt this, obviously I would. Uh, it's going to be going to s the same voltage as the uh, hub motor, which is 76 volts. So what I do is I open up this, uh, these holes are all have to be opened up and uh, I'll probably end up putting some type of um, 
3D printed uh, fan shroud on the back. Let's open it right up and put a nice computer fan on there uh, from a server that's nice and loud and it can pull some decent air through it. That should keep it cool. I don't have to rewire it. These wires are more than thick enough for 79 volts or 76 volts. These won't melt down. These are way thicker than the ones you get on um, hub motors. Way thicker. Anyway, uh, let me get set up here and we'll uh, well, it didn't even come with anything else, that's it. You would think it would come with a throttle or something like that. Nope. Uh, for 170 bucks, you get the controller and you get the motor. <laughs> a bunch of things you'll never use. Bolts and stuff. Anyway, let's uh, let's wire it up and see what it's see how it runs. It runs at all. Have to dig into the vault. Oh, this thing weighs a ton. This is where I've been storing all my crap over the years. It's nice to have extra stuff like uh, almost every charger you can imagine in there. I got some more chargers down here. Yep. 24 volt, 80 volt. I got at least one charger of each voltage floating around in the house. All my controllers, uh, we're going to need a throttle. Could probably use this one. Still got the crappy connector on it. Ugh. This is the only downside of this, this kit is it doesn't give you any instructions or what, you, what is what here. Like, is that a throttle? I'm going by this. Can't go by your throttle that this, you didn't get with this controller because it's a... Uh, it's pinned out differently. Like this one here is center black. It says, it says throttle right there. But when I go to plug this in, my green, which is their sense wire, which should be gray. So the black and the, and the green got to be reversed. But what I'll do is I'll reverse it on this. I'll show you how to do it actually. I'll go grab a pin and uh, show you how to plop these out without damage. Okay, hopefully a pin does it. But uh, I wouldn't change that one because that's, I tested other controllers on it and it's just going to mess things up. So you want the black and the gray changed. So if you can see that, you're going to stick the pin right in there. Like that. There's a little finger in there that uh, you bend. And that wire should just slip out. Which it's not. It really jabbed in there. There you go. Now what you do to put it back before you put it back, the little finger that I was telling you about is on the back of the connector. It's just a little shard of metal. You're going to bend that back out so when you push it in it locks in. Like Just like that, as you can see. It's just like a one-way shard. Like bamboo. And then when you stick it back in there, it'll it'll go, it'll click and it'll lock. It won't keep falling out. This is much easier than cutting wires. And there you go. You learn something new every day. <laughs> Doing this for years, you learn to uh, stop cutting wires. So we're gonna do this. Red is right. Black is on the end. Stick that back in there, and it should click. There it goes. It's in. And your sense wire. There you go. We got a throttle. Green to gray, black to black, and red to red. Nothing's gonna blow up. I don't have to worry about the other two, that's throttle, I mean the key, ignition. 
Uh, we're going to use this stupid thing that I was raving about. Just so we don't have any phase wire short out. Because that sucks when that happens. At least it came with the screws or bolts. Okay, yellow. Yellow to yellow. The beauty thing of this motor is it doesn't matter which direction it's going to go in. Hopefully the, uh, I guarantee, almost guarantee, well I can't properly guarantee, but I almost guarantee I don't have to mess with the timing. Probably work right out of the box. And watch me prove it wrong. Prove me wrong. Take hours to figure it out. wires. There. Okay. What we need now is just power just to test it. Um, yeah, I don't think my power supply, my bench power supply is powerful enough to turn that over. I'll probably have to use my packs. All right, give me a, check, a sec to figure this out. Yeah, don't think I'll be sharing the link for this idiot. Uh, this V4 or whoever it is uh, sent me, I'm pretty sure he sent me a bad controller. I'm still messing around with it, but there's no other. The throttle, as you can see, I already set that up properly. This is a three-speed switch. Doesn't have to be hooked up. The other ones are brake, but they should be able to work not hooked up to anything. Uh, positive to positive, negative to negative. There was uh, obviously a spark showing that it's powered up. But uh, when I go to throttle up, I get nothing. So this is where these testers come into play. If you haven't got one of these, I recommend you buy one. They're cheap. You can get them all over um, eBay and Amazon and everything else. Uh, this one here, as you can see, is in Chinese for a good reason. Uh, I've had that for over 12 years. Uh, this is literally one of the first ones that ever came out. Uh, most of them are English now. But uh, anyway, it's it's done me good over the years. It's turned yellow because I've had it so long. But uh, it still works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook it up and see if uh, if this thing's even alive. Uh, this light here will blink if the uh, pick in, this, in the controller is actually activated. At least tell me that it works. But uh, at the moment it's it's... It's dead. Dead to the world. Not looking good, guys. Nope, I'm not getting a blinking light showing us uh, showing any any uh, level of being alive. Wow, I'm feeling that's a lemon. Well, I have other controllers here. Give me a minute, and I'll set one up that uh, will actually function. What a joke! special finagling required. All I did basically was just, you know, 
yellow to yellow, blue to blue, green to green. Same with the uh, hall wires, hooked up the power and no problem. So that controller is toast. This guy's getting bad feedback. I hate that. So basically, that's how he can lower the uh, price. He basically gives you... Man, that's got a lot of torque. <laughs> that's going to be fun. I guess so, that's a 50 amp. But that's just on my... Uh, I'm going to call it my tester battery because I've never used it yet since I built it. But yeah, it works. It's cool. Sounds pretty balanced. It's not very... Uh, not a lot of vibration. Cool. Uh, I'll have to figure out where I'm going to put it on the bike. I'll be for another video, but it's, it does work good. Uh, if you can get past, past the fact that uh, this controller is probably no good, maybe we'll do a video and uh, repair it. Wouldn't be the first time I've done that, but it is dead. So... Unless I'm missing something, we got this. this is your power wire. These are your power wires. There's no extra red lead here that uh, you'd have to hook up. Yeah, it's. But I had to guess the voltage regulator is gone on it. Someone probably reversed it, blew it up, sent it back to the guy, and then he sold it back to me. But it does work. There you go. I'll, uh, once I uh, figure out how I'm going to put this on the bike, we'll have a couple of videos to. Uh, I'll have a couple of videos to post. Take it easy, guys. I forgot to mention it also comes with machine bolts for the motor. So you don't have to go searching around for those. Sweet. And an extra gear. I, have no, I haven't tested it. I have no idea what type of pitch of gear that is for uh, a chain. It be a bicycle chain or is it uh, a pocket bike chain? I don't know. I'll have to do some research on that. And I don't know if they're the same ones. It's a little bit smaller, and the tooth pitch is off, so this might be for like a bicycle chain. I don't know, we'll see. Still doesn't make up for the fact that he gave me a bad controller, Putz. Take it easy.